That one. Yeah, it just flew across the path. Yeah. Uh, I got a glimpse of it. It almost looked like a Nashville. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Very nice. Black and white warbler and like 12 others that went too fast to see. <laughs> there's a yellow rumped warbler. Oh, there's a palm warbler. That looks like a bay breasted. There's a bunch of catbirds in there. That's a red start. Oh yeah, I see Yeah, it. it's on the back side. Yeah. yeah, lots of activity this morning. It's fall migration for millions upon millions of birds. From small songbirds to shorebirds, to also ducks and raptors. Even owls are migrating through this time of year, so it's a major event for these birds. They're all gathering, eating as much as they can, trying to put on weight to get ready for that two, 3,000 mile journey south. Bird conservation isn't just about what we're able to do here in the Midwest. That's only part of the story. Birds need full life cycle conservation. Where they go from here, they need habitat as they're migrating, and they need habitat where they're going in Belize and Central America. And so, you know, what happens in those other places is just as important as what's happening here in the Midwest. We are in the Belize Maya forest running a survey specifically for migratory birds. We want to see the diversity and the quantity around this area. The species that we're looking for would mostly come from the northeastern part of North America. Gray catbird, maybe American red start, magnolia warbler, black and white warbler. For all the species that breed in the northeastern part of the U.S. and Canada, this is where they come and spend their winter. So this is very important for them. The Belize Maya Forest is the newest protected area in the country. This is about 236,000 acres of lowland moist broadleaf tropical forest in northwestern Belize. Over the years, we have noticed this area, block by block, being deforested for agricultural expansion. What we're seeing is the potential fate of this forest. A forest that takes hundreds of years to grow into a primary forest. You can lose that in minutes. I mean, once a bulldozer comes in, acres and acres of forest can go down in one day. Had it not been for TNC and the partners coming together to purchase this, this would have been an agricultural field. So there was a lot at stake. The Nature Conservancy created the Belize Maya Forest Trust. They are the stewards of the Belize Maya Forest property. This land is protected in perpetuity, not only for conservationists, but it's for the people of Belize. The Belize Maya Forest directly connects to protected forests in Mexico and Guatemala. That trinational forest, known as the Selva Maya, is the largest contiguous forest north of the Amazon. So it is really of significance. We had people donating to this cause from the Midwest, from North America, from all over. And the forest that they are protecting here is not just for us, it's for everyone. The birds that migrate here over the seasons, that is what offers that connection, that we share a common resource. Birds are a great ambassador for conservation. These birds can bring people from as far away as the Midwest to Belize to connect. Birding is also a way to connect our communities to this forest. It also helps us to protect something that is much grander. By protecting habitats that these birds need, we are also protecting habitat for the big iconic jaguar, you know, the endangered spider monkeys or tapirs, all this incredible biodiversity.
the challenges facing conservation are so huge right now. You know, one of the big headlines of the day has been three billion birds lost since 1970. That just feels like a, a gut punch when you hear those numbers. You kind of get used to hearing these negatives and you realize that if we're gonna make change, we gotta take big steps forward. That's what this deal is. It's a bold step forward. It's a big win for conservation.